everyone, this is Vanessa Gertman from Alpha's Cast. Welcome back to the Fireplace series. In today's video, we're going to be setting up the structure for projects to have multiple team members. A member of a project is someone who can manage tasks for a project, but isn't allowed to invite anybody else. We'll be adding support for project members over the next couple of videos. At the end of today's video, we'll be able to see the members of a project. So let's get started. First, we're going to need a new entity to represent project membership, and we're going to use the command we've used a few times now already. And the name we're going to go with is project membership. And we want that dash M flag because we need a migration. Let's check out our new entity. So one thing that stands out to me is I don't really love this auto generated table name in this case. I think it might be a little nicer if we just actually call it project members instead. So I'm going to edit this. And that's all we need to do to change the name of a table, which is pretty nice. All right. So we're not going to need this name field. Get rid of that. Let's talk about what we do need. How do we describe a project member? Well, we need to know who they are and what project we're talking about. So let's add those fields. The type we want is user. Okay, now we need to add our mapping and our ozone table. And we're gonna use that relationship we've used before, which is belongs to. And we're going to have a nearly identical line for project. And that should be all the information we need to describe a project member. So let's run our migration and add this new table to our database. All right, the migration succeeded. Let's look at our database. All right, good news. We've got a new table, project members and it has a format we would expect, so that's good. So for this video, I'm just going to make some sample data we can use. In future videos, we'll add the ability to actually create project members, but for now, we're just gonna manu manually do it in our database. I already have two users here. You'll notice in my projects list, I have two projects. They're both owned by user ID one. So I want to add this user ID three as a project member to one of those projects. We'll just go with project four. So the user ID was three, project ID was four, and we'll go with now. All right, so good, we actually have data we'll be able to look at now. So now that we have sample data, let's update our view, which in this case is project underscore show. And as a reminder, the code I'm about to paste in is linked in the description below. We're going to put this right below activities. If you just take a quick look at what this code is going to do, basically we're looping through all the members of our project, displaying their gravatar, and then also their name and email. This looks good, except for the only problem is we don't actually have this field yet in our project class. So let's add that. All right, so I want a new property called members. And it's gonna look very similar to the two properties of above. We're gonna use has many. And in this case, it's project memberships. All right, but if you notice, IntelliJ is uh, giving us a hint here that we actually have a list of project memberships, but I really want this to be a list of users. I don't need the whole project membership. So I'm gonna use Kotlin's map function to just get the members out. All right, now you'll notice that list type has changed to user, which is exactly what we want. Let's save this. This should be all we need to show to users. So let's go ahead and run the app. All right, so we know that my project doesn't have any members. 
So we'll just check. Okay, we've got nothing in there. But then this project is the one we were, where we manually added a member to our project. So that looks good. And that's gonna do it for today. In the next video, we're gonna be adding a form right here so team owners can invite members to their projects. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.